Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play. And we are going to be continuing this game. Um, I would say we are sort of kind of getting close to the end. Sort of, I can't exactly remember. It's been a while since I played this game. But, um, there aren't too many suspects left. But, um, it's been more so play this, so I'm not sure how it ends. But anyway, let's continue the game. Now, it's been a hot minute. Oops. It's been a minute since I played, so I'm sorry if I... I'm being a little slow here. Um, I think where we left off, we couldn't. We need the other piece to get in here, and we have these two, so I think we can probably go back to the castle, I believe. And if this works at any point too, I really, really do apologize. Can we get in here? No, we can't. Okay. I still don't know how to get past there. So let's go back into the tower. Oh, it's this stuff we have to go in. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I apologize for being a little slow. Like I said, it has been a hot minute since I played this game. Oops. I almost completely knocked my camera over. There we go. Um, like I said, it's been a hot minute since I played, last played this game, so. I have been doing pre-recordings already. I did a bunch of them in the past, but I haven't been able to play this because of schoolwork. Anyways, in Garrison's laboratory, I found a bunch of equipment for developing photographs. I should check the photographic telescope in the other room and see if it had film in it. I have film though.
I managed to find the coordinates. They were etched into the armor of one of the knights. The telescope must be related to unlocking them, but how? this. We're getting down to the nitty gritty of not having much at the moment in our inventory. not that much maybe i can just read it i was approached today by luther whom you may recall as the assistant to abarto wolf the illusionist he brought to my attention a strange request a projector that could display realistic ghostly images how strange that wolf did not ask me himself i'm sorry i'm trying to just read just the camera a little bit from volume lighting Anyways, Luther came about today to check in my progress on the ghost projector. He seemed nervous and in a hurry, but I was not baggered, badgered sorry, into finishing sloppy work. Luther became angry and departed soon after. Good riddance for days I labored, but still the ghostly projections I created were not up to my standards. I was testing a new type of light bulb when Luther brought a portrait of a stunning woman he begged me to use it in my experiments. I am certain of it. This portrait is none other than Gina Gale, the ghost of Gale Castle, whom the curse of the Williams is supposedly based on. This request borns on, on the ridiculous, and I am worried about Luther's sanity. <laughs> At last, I have completed the ghost projector. I must say it is one of my finest creations. The ghosts it produces are so lifelike that they nearly gave me fright. Well, that explains a lot. The girl witch looks every bit as stunning as she does in her portrait. <clears throat> they took it. Luther and another man who Luther referred to as Samuel took my ghost projector. Ah. They paid me well enough for it, but I should have liked to at least kept that pr prototype to myself. Something is amiss here. I have sent my robotic owl to investigate. Okay, so it's his owl that's been following us everywhere. Okay, we literally just got a lot in here, so. It's not every day that you meet a brain in a jar connected to a recorder. Yes, because that's kind of gross and creepy. Sketches of the owl in Garrison's diary. Obviously, this was the mechanical owl that was wa that was following me. It was not only watching me, but it was reporting me as well. Garrison was an inventing genius. According to Garrison's diary, he created some type of machine for Luther that creates realistic some looking projections of ghosts. Something else is clear. Samuel was interested in Alberto Wolf's ghost delusions as well. Wolf said he had never he had even been talking with Luther backstage. Could this ghost machine be the reason for Ronald's death? But now Luther is dead too, so that I only so that I least only Samuel and Wolf. 
Because yes, there are not that many people left. Now since we have the other half of the ladder, we should be able to get in. Yeah, this place is surely a mess. Oh my gosh, there, there we go. Oh lord. Okay. I'm going to try this puzzle, but if not, I might just skip it, honestly.
Okay, well, apparently I don't really know what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna skip it at this point. <laughs> Eight bell night and X. I thought it was like the card spade, you know, or like the symbol spade. I was like looking all this time and it was the actual tool. Wow. <laughs> and that's gonna do it for right now because next time we will be able to finally get into Dale's castle which is what we have been waiting for. So I will see you guys next time. Bye. Take care.